lying to me about Kevin being live, I'm going to be pissed off. What up, Hot Time? Well, can I help you, sir? Hello? Nigga, what do you want? We talking about goddamn Charlie Love after lockup. We talking about Kevin being live. What do you want? You get, break it down. Okay, so earlier they said Kevin was live. So who follows Kevin in here on a foo foo? Who follows Kevin on a foo foo? Who follows him on a foo foo that can get up here in this box and play it? God damn it. Don't be keep telling me he live. I want to hear it before I get the recording. Oh, so ain't none of y'all bitches gonna come up here. You know what? I mean, I'm sorry. I caught y'all bitches. My bad. Ain't none of y'all motherfucking hoes. Nah, I'm just playing. Ain't none of y'all finna come up here. Shit. Now I'm getting mad. Switch to a panel. I can share the screen. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, let's get it started. Come on up here now. Anybody can come up here if you want to. You just got to be quiet, okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it's playing. <laughs> okay. Shh, quiet. I said, shh, we're going to watch a movie. Stop chewing that popcorn, 444. You too loud. Shut up, Graham. Girl right here, piggyback. Oh, wait a minute. Where the sound? I can't hear. I'm new. We still can't hear. Oh, there we go. We can't hear, baby. Hey, sweet 19. Can y'all hear? Trinity, get production together, goddammit. What the fuck is going on? What the hell? We can't hear, girl. We can't hear. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's low. Turn it up. I don't know how. You it's might just play She gonna, go. to, she gonna have to drop it then come back down. They do it when you record. Tell her to come back because they do that all the time. Okay, come on, Trinity. Come on, come on, come on. I already got the pick, y'all. I got it. I got it. Okay, screen. Hey, Miss Go Get Her. Okay, you see the screen? Yes. We're, yes, we see it. Okay. Can you hear? Turn it up. It's all the way up. Maybe if I put it on. Is it playing? Uh -uh. Yeah. 
Trinity, just play it, play it regular. Play it regular. Just play it. Don't don't take you got another device? No, that's I don't another, got another device, one. right? No, I'm saying that's another device, right? You're not sharing it off the phone your own, right? Yeah, I am. That's why we can't motherfucking hear it, motherfucker. What you mean? I thought you could screen share it and the device, sound come on. Because you have to have another device. Like your your mic is using your oh, mic. Oh, somebody else that come up. Oh, Trinity, why, Trinity? We was ready for production. Can somebody else come up here and play Kevin, please? I don't, I don't have the Kevin stuff, but if you paid attention to the at the upper right corner, it's like this little circle with a little line. She didn't turn on the sound. Like you gotta turn that sound on. Okay, Trinity, come back. Oh, this is getting on my nerves. We ain't got production. Girl, we we listen, Trinity is in like <laughs> okay, Trinity. I'm the only person that follow him. Huh? I said I know I'm not the only person that follow him. Trinity, but we were lying on you. This is production. Now listen to what Okay. So Dami should tell her again. Shut up, okay. big back. I'm getting upset. I wanna hear Kevin. Okay. It is okay. Do you have an Apple phone or an Android? I got an iPhone. Okay, is your that little button on the side to to turn on for all? You see that little circle button right there? I do. Oh, that's free yeah, recording. I yeah, I have the same phone. So, like on the side of of your iPhone, click that little button up because sometimes that'll disable your sound. You talking about the silence thing on the, the switch? Yeah, the is that is that on or off? Yeah, that's on. Now you see that little but that look right there by Nani's box. Is that the, the power speaker put it on the mode, right? Not that go the speaker right there. She just turned it on and off like she just did it. Okay, so what? so put him back on. Let's see. Does it need to be on or off? Do, do y'all see my screen right now? We see well, no, you gotta put something on the screen. Put put Kevin back on the screen screen. Naturally. No, there ain't no sound. Hey, new girl. It's something going Do on with her audio it? in her settings. Do she, wait a minute, Damish. Do she got to put it on? They said turn sound mode off. Put it on music mode. Uh, I don't know how to do all that. Oh, Lord, this production. Where? Where? I just, you know, I just, just hold on. Just hold on. Let's see. I'm motion. I don't know how to do that shit. Um, hello? Excuse me. Now, if she mutes herself, Oh my God, he's really talking and we missing it. Actually, so y'all see it here. I'm trying to read his lips and shit. Okay, listen, listen. I'm I'm sorry for I'm sorry for the delayed production. Now I do appreciate you, Trinity. Um, I do have somebody. I'm gonna get down. Okay, boo. Yeah. I love you. God damn, you ain't gotta do all that. I don't like, get paid for this. First of uh, all, Trinity, God damn, you get paid in love every motherfucking day. But you ever come like that again? You can pay the love. Well, anyway, I have somebody on the way. They coming right now, and we're gonna hear. It. Hi, Rudy. Are you, uh, you know you can't talk. Just uh -huh. wave your hand, huh? Noni, you have to probably do music mode on your your broadcast or something I, like I, that. I, I, 
I tried that. I tried that, Rudy. Oh, I tried okay. that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was just trying to see. Girl, we don't care about fucking Charlie. God damn it. We trying to hear Kevin. We know the nigga locked up. Now I'm getting upset. Okay? We know about Charlie being locked up. If some son of a bitch said one more goddamn time, hey, Dimples. Yeah. Time time. I don't want a double B on red. For what? I want my own person. I don't want to do that, y'all. Like, well, why y'all doing that? I can't breathe, Michelle. Uh, I want to hear Kevin. I don't even know what he's saying at this point. I got to read the slips and shit. Okay, there go my baby. There go my baby. Dimples, get down. I love you. Get down, Dimples. Get down, Dimples. Get your ass down, Dimples. I love you. Okay. Whew. We'll stop. Hi, self made. Thank you very much for coming today. I appreciate you. I know you can't talk, but go ahead. Uh, stuff, man. We don't hear nothing, baby. We, we, hello? Can you turn it up? Crank it up. Here we go. So, hey, there's music. There's music. You can cut the music. Oh, this is bad production. They're going to put me on YouTube. So, hey, there's music. Can you please turn off the music? We hear music. Oh, he has it playing? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, stuff, man. Okay, go ahead, baby. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to calm down. Let me calm down. Okay, go ahead, stuff, man. <clears throat> Self made, turn it up, baby. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Nobody ever was in the same thing. I let it happen. I let it happen. Please forgive me. I'm so not sorry. So, you want to see what I'm saying? Get that part back into the other video. He said, smoke it. I'm going to try it. And see what I said. Like a beat. I said the same. I'm not. Go, I'm. But I'm. I'm not. I'm done with fighting people. I'm done with going back and forth. No more. Did he log off, stuff, man? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not dealing with it no more, and I don't like. Well, oh, I do not support that at all. I think this man needs his rest. I think everybody should leave him alone and move on with their life. If you want to be, if you need somebody in your life for entertainment that much, you need to entertain that book and get with the Lord. My grandfather always taught me to stand in awe of no man. And God will not accept, he, he will not accept nobody else taking his glory, even if it is my brother. And some of these women been on here saying, yeah, um, he, he, he helped me through this and he helped me. I'm like, where is Jesus at, bro? Where is God at? God is not, God is a jealous God. He not going to have no man taking his place. He'll take me down, take anybody down. Don't I tell my wife. Don't ever put me in a place above God. God to take me down. Period. I don't know what's going on in y'all world, but I'm going to tell you like this. The only man that should have precedence over your life and you should be spending most of your time with is on the right hand of the most high God, and that's Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. 
And anybody that takes the place of God is an idol. Anything that comes in and try to take try to take over God's place, he go bring it down. I love my brother to death, but I would never place and worm their ways into weak will women's houses and subdue them. That's what Timothy said. And I see a lot of women that's that's burdened down with various diverse lusts, burdened down with all kinds of responsibilities and duties and obligations, and they, and they don't know what to do. And they turn to entertainment, they turn to fashion, they turn to all Beyonce, they turn to all these idols, they turn to men. When you need to be turning to God, these are the last days. Get your life together, man. Or you go bring other people down too. So no, I'm not happy about the situation. I'm not happy about the situation, but I can't control the situation. The situation is the situation. I'm going to tell you what I told you the first time. Move on with your life. Find God. Anyone that puts their confidence in man is a curse according to the Bible. Don't put your faith, confidence, and trust in man to entertain you, to woo you, to, to feel you. It just will not work. Put it in where it needs to be in the most high God. Love God. And let's see how that work out for you. So that's where I stand with the whole situation. I know I've been getting messages over and over again. Come out and speak about, I'm going to come out and tell the truth every time I come out. I don't care what nobody else say. They can say whatever they want to say. They brothers, they this, they that. Listen, an app ain't superior to being born and living and being raised with this person, period. I'm done with it. They do go too far. It's just way too far, man. What do y'all have? To, man, read a book, man. Get involved with something. Don't never put no man, no man. Don't never put no man above the most high God, period. You know, save it by any means. Let's save some. Don't and you can't be dumb all your whole life. And these are women that portal to life. Like y'all got to be thinking out here. Y'all can't be no y'all not. The women ain't stupid out here. Use your brain and not your emotions, bro. Use your brains and not your emotions. Save yourself. So where I stand is where I always stood, stood on the side of truth. I know this app that they have is about money. It's about prestige. It's about influence. It's about followers. Let them have that. This is I'm not talking about Pastor Pete anyway. I'm talking about Keith Jones. This is a human being. Hi. This is a human being that should not be exploited, should not be taken for granted, not for your entertainment, not for your enjoyment. This is a brother. This is a son. This is a father. And I'm more concerned about his life than his position on the app. period so all the people that's kept me from my brother and would not contact me may god be merciful on you it's disrespectful and anytime listen to this anytime that an app can be can come before a blood relative What are we living in today? What are we what are we thinking today that technology supersedes blood relatives? I'm done with that. But that's what I had to say, y'all. You want to hear my opinion about it? That's what I say about it. 
I'm through with going back and forth with people. I got to move on with my life. You move on with your life and you take God with you and you pray for my brother. That's the best thing that I can do every single day. It's been difficult for me ever since that day he got into that accident. I don't know the person y'all know him as. I don't know that. I cannot relate to that. When I come out here, I'm talking with passion. I'm talking with love. This is a person to me. This is not an entity. This is not an organization. This is my brother. So that's where we go in as far as with when it comes to my mom, I'm always going to love my mom. I don't agree with my mom. And I stand on I don't agree with a lot of stuff that's going on. I just, And I never will. I never took a dime. I never asked for a dime. And I feel like it's enough people in this family to help su to support my brother if need be. And if you got to run to these people, these people go control you. These people go control how you feel about things. And I'm done with that. I can't keep on going through that. I'm not going to keep on fighting people or, you know, talking to people about my situation, my personal situation with my mom. I know we can fix it, but right now it's just, it is what it is. But I, I, I'm not going to say what happened just recently with me not being able to talk to my brother or pray for my brother or be next to my brother on his birthday and put all this other shit to the side that's crazy to me man i don't support that and anybody that's a part of that i pray for your soul so god have mercy on you god have mercy on us i'm praying for the best for everybody i'm praying for my brother because i know he's not where he needs to be and i pray that if you you have any ill will towards my brother or any ill will towards any family member that you keep that shit to yourself, bro. Stop opening your mouth against stuff that y'all don't know anything about. This is a family issue. Let us take care of our issue. Now, I'm only here because I'm compelled to speak because people was talking to me about how I feel about this situation. It's not a matter of how I feel. It matters what the truth is. And the truth is they put it out there for you to see. You've seen it and you're still not happy. I try to protect you and tell you to move on with your life. But y'all insist on having information. You got it. What you going to do with it? Because he still got to heal. He still got to get himself together. So, um, I love y'all, man. But, yeah, a lot of shit just ain't right today. I'm praying for my brother. I'm hoping for a speedy recovery and all the bullshit to end. That's what I stand on. So that's what I feel. That's what I see about the situation. And I'm I'm dead in that. Y'all have a good night, man. Thank you, uh, self made. And let let me let me say something. I don't know how y'all not understanding the people that's saying, "Huh, self made, don't go nowhere." The people that's saying, "Huh, how the fuck is y'all not understanding what that man just said?" It's the same shit that I told y'all earlier. I told y'all earlier, right? I said that if he does respond, it's going to be a hurtful response. Because he has been laid the roadmap for y'all before this even happened. Okay? I told y'all that. I also told y'all that that man had been taken from his brother. He has said that. The mother separated him from his brother. So basically what he's saying is, it's fucked up that you would allow an application to see he before you would allow him to see him in person. And that's his blood brother. 
I've been saying it from the jump. That's his blood brother. How dare your own mama keep you away from your blood brother, but allow an application to exploit him? I don't know how y'all ain't get it. That shit was plain as a motherfucker. You can hear the hurt in that man's voice. You can hear it. It's sad. And I also, when he said, I pray for y'all souls. I pray for everybody's soul. Right? From day one, Kevin has remained the same individual. He has always spoke about God. He has always kept God in his broadcast. Did he get out of body and address some people on big old? Yes. But he also used the Bible and the words of God to do so. I don't know if y'all didn't pay attention, but I know I paid attention. You feel me? Right? Now, hopefully, I don't know if that was recorded or not, that we can replay it for what we missed in the beginning. But just hearing that part right there. Right. Right. Was a lie. Give love his wife. Big O, uh, whatever the fuck your name is. I don't know. Big O, Lee, Domo. What the fuck is she talking about? Hey, Tasha, he says someone called him and told him he could visit Keith yesterday. He called off work and they, and they what? And they what? Finish your sentence, please, uh, Tintin. And they never called him. He hurt me. Wow. Wow. So did he say who? He just said someone called him and said that he could visit Keith. He didn't say who. He waited around all day, he said. Wow. No, he didn't. He gave Ghost his number. Man, tell me you lying. Tell me you lying. Tell me you lying. Tell me you lying. He saw Ghost and Ghost asked him if he could fix things with Regina. Kevin could be motive. Motives keep to get better. They need to stop. And Ghost never called him. Ghost stopped him in traffic. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Damisha, that's not, that's not even, Damisha, please. That's not even a, a, a point. That's not a point, Damisha. That's not a point. That's not a point. Why why are we speaking about power attorney issues and all that when the man didn't have a, a living will? So we can look at this several ways, right? We're going to wait for the, the, the recording to come out and re-listen to it, right? So I can hear him say that. But we can look at this several ways. We can look at this as, okay, let's say Ghost did stop him in traffic and said, hey, look, can you fix things with your mama, right? Let's just say, right? So let's say the ghost relayed that message to the mama, right? And let's just say the mama said, fuck it, nah, I don't want to fix shit with him. Right? But then again, right? 
we got to remember that Kevin said that he got a restraining order on the mama. So technically, Kevin couldn't have been around the mama at the same place, but Ghost could have took Kevin to see Keith if the mama would have said it was okay. Ghost said he talked to Kevin himself. Kevin didn't say his mama, but Ghost had already said it. So Ghost said he talked to Kevin. Who said it? Did Kevin say it or did Ghost say it or did they both say it? Because y'all got me confused at this point. Who said it? Did Kevin say it? Kevin didn't say it. Ghost said it. So Ghost said that he stopped Kevin in traffic and asked him to fix things with his mama. Is that what y'all saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hey, sit down. That's what I'm saying, um, Glam. But the thing about it, Glam, who stopped it? It's on YouTube, bang, already? Hey, Miss Mo. Oh. It's on YouTube already? Blessings, Bright. What's up, Bright? I think I think that the mama didn't want it, but the mama could have, the mama could have been like, hey, yeah, he can go visit him for a little while. And if the mama, if the mama didn't want it, that's fucked up. That's fucked up for her not to even want her son to see his brother. Like, that's just evil. Because you could have put your differences to the side, at least for the day, so he could go at least see his brother on his birthday. Okay, what are we? What's on YouTube? Ghost or Kevin? Which one y'all talking about? Which one? Ghost or Kevin? Which video is on YouTube, y'all? Come on, can we wake up? All right. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. That's crazy. All right, hold on. Hate R and B country. What's true teller seven? Two. Um, I don't see it on two. Oh, okay, I got it. But I'll go over there and try to swing for you. Yeah. Yeah. 